Enough guessing on your next moisturizer. It's time to stop listening to that generic skincare advice and falling for those cheap marketing gimmicks. Let's get you on track to get that glass skin we all want. Hey, welcome to the channel. I am Professor Glow Up, where we talk about glowing up in every category based on actual scientific evidence, as well as give you real practical tips and advice that you can apply immediately. Here's the deal. Your skin is your armor. It's the first thing the world sees and it deserves some top notch care. We're going to get straight into it and recommend the best moisturizers out there for your skin type based on real scientific research. First, let's quickly talk about the four skin types. First is dry. How do you know if you have dry skin? Your skin looks and feels rough, feels flaky, itchy, it's red, and it has cracks. Next is oily. You'll know if you have oily skin, if you are more prone to breakouts, have a shiny film across your skin, and enlarged pores. Next is combination. For combination skin types, obviously it's a mix, but you'll primarily be noticing that your T-zone is oily and around it is dry. You could have breakouts and dry skin at the same time. Last is normal. These are the lucky ones. If you have high elasticity, small pores, and no blemishes, you would have the normal skin type. Next, let's discuss the three main components of a moisturizer. Number one, humectants. Humectants are substances used in moisturizers that draw water from the middle layer of the skin, known as the dermis, into the outer layer of the skin called the epidermis. This will keep your skin moist and plump. Humectants can also attract water from the atmosphere into the epidermis. Some common humectants you may have seen would be glycerin, which is the most popular one used in moisturizers, as well as urea, sorbitol, and hyaluronic acid. According to this 2016 review of moisturizer ingredients, glycerin is by far considered to be the most effective humectant. However, in dry environments, humectants like glycerin won't be able to draw moisture from the air and may take a lot of moisture from the lower layers of your skin, resulting in even more dryness. For this reason, it's important to combine glycerin with an emollient ingredient like shea butter to make sure your skin doesn't dry out. Just be cautious that too much glycerin can cause a sticky sensation on your skin. I just mentioned an emollient. What is that? Emollients make the skin feel smooth, as well as fill in those dry spots around the skin. Emollients are mainly made of oils and fatty compounds known as lipids. Furthermore, emollients can cause a cooling effect following evaporation of water from the skin surface after using water-based moisturizers. Last is an occlusive. Occlusives are typically oil-based and block the evaporation of water. The most popular and effective occlusive component is petrolatum and mineral oil, which is the liquid form. Typically, right after the shower or washing your face, an occlusive is the most effective. The most popular petrolatum I'm sure you recognize is Vaseline. In theory, you could cover your skin with this, but it'll feel very sticky and you'll appear very shiny. This is why the product Vaseline is most recommended strictly on your lips. Now, we know what moisturizers consist of. We need to find out exactly what we are looking for when searching for our next moisturizer. According to this study, your ideal moisturizer should meet this criteria. Number one, reduce and prevent further transepidermal water loss, which is when water evaporates from the skin into the air. Number two, restore the lipid barrier, which means duplicating and enhancing the skin's moisturizing retention process. Number three, it needs to be hypoallergenic, non-sensitizing, and fragrance-free, because for a lot of people, this can cause irritation. Number four, it needs to be absorbed immediately, providing that immediate hydration that we all want. Number five, it has to be cosmetically acceptable. And six, of course, it needs to be affordable. Now, knowing that criteria, let's choose the right moisturizer for different skin types. Dry skin. For dry skin, we recommend moisturizers in rich in occlusives and emollients. According to this study, emollients are extremely important for dry skin. If you have dry skin, it might be a necessity to have at least one good occlusive higher up on your ingredient list. Products such as CeraVe Moisturizing Skin, La Roche Double Repair Moisturizer, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel, and Aquaphor Healing Ointment for those with very dry skin. Next is oily skin. Of course, try to use oil-free and non-comedogenic moisturizers. Identifying the key occlusive in a moisturizer is the most helpful thing when you're shopping for a moisturizer. I would recommend keeping an eye out for a product that contains the best occlusive, Petrolatum, as well as other great occlusive options like Shea Butter and Beeswax. According to this study, even aloe vera with, that is within at least 10% present in that product can have a moisturizing effect. Products that are lightweight, oil-free would include La Roche Prochet Effacular Matte, Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Moisturizer, Differin Oil Absorbing Moisturizer with SPF 
30. Also, you might want to choose a product that doesn't have these heavier occlusives or have them lower on the ingredient list. Next is combination skin. Combination is a little tricky because you don't want to have one lotion for the dry area and one for the oil. That'll be counterproductive. We want lightweight, oil-free, preferably gel-based products that won't leave you feeling greasy nor dry you up. Some products would include Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, Tolerain Double Repair Matte Face Moisturizer, and Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture. Next, normal skin. These are, you know, the lucky ones. Similar to combination, but instead of gel-based, we want cream-based if you're on the more dry side. These will include Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with Squalene, Aveeno Daily Moisturizer Face Cream, and Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. Now, I have mentioned earlier about the ingredient list. In most countries, skincare ingredient lists are ordered in reverse order for ingredients included above 1%. So that means that the ingredient that are listed on the top has the highest concentration. Of course, this all comes with trial and error. Start where you believe is the best fit for you. Then if you aren't satisfied, try a new one. You think it might be a better fit. Over time, you'll find the perfect one to get you that glass skin look we all want. This includes other skincare products like cleansers. If you want to see the breakdown of cleansers, make sure to check out that video. Links in bio. Let me know what skin type you have in the comments and what products you have tried with success and or fail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.